Yeah, good morning YouTube. This is the clinometer in my Toyota 4Runner. So what it is, it's got a slope and tilt indicator, so inclinometer, and then it also has an altimeter, and it's also a barometer. And the way you do this, we've, we've actually got a uh, pretty good storm blowing through and very low pressure and so my elevation here is a, between 50 and 100 feet. So, yeah, so the idea here is you use this adjustment knob to calibrate the altimeter reading to your known altitude, and that, that compensates for the barometric pressure. But what you can actually see around the outside here, they've got millibar scale, so 1,100, 1,050, 1,000, 1013 or 1013 millibar is the nominal standard sea level atmospheric pressure and then you've got 1,950, 900 and the way you can use this altimeter to read the barometer is if you follow that zero over it's over about here on the scale and you kind of have to interpolate but I, I just checked my barometer inside and the actual pressure is 987 so you can see there if I do about five divisions of that thousand to 950 range it's just a little below 990 so that's how you can actually read the barometric pressure if you know your current elevation. As you saw when I came out, the uh, barometer, or the altimeter was reading something like that, saying I was at a thousand feet because I had it adjusted uh, the last time with more normal pressure. So now I had to dial it in that far to compensate for the low pressure system blowing through. So yeah, I wanted to show you that. A lot of people don't know how to read that um, barometric pressure off of that you know you can read the altitude pretty easy but uh, you can also do that if you don't know your elevation but you do know the barometric pressure you can set this zero for instance at normal pressure if I set the zero over there to 1013 then the elevation would be correct these are pretty handy. You can actually find them on eBay. They also use these, I believe, in the Toyota Tercel four-wheel drives. I forget if they had all three dials or just two of them. But these are all mechanical gauges. There's no, no electrical component aside from the backlight. You can turn the backlight on and off. I find them pretty handy. I've also modified my tilt gauge here to read up to about 45 degrees and maybe I'll cut in a couple of photos of that modification. Yeah, so that's how I modified that tilt meter yeah, good afternoon YouTube. Wanted to show you the change on the clinometer. Today I just checked the barometric pressure at the house and it's 1,021. And we're just above sea level here, so if you follow that across, you get about 1,021. So you could see in the last uh, week or so, we went from like 985 up to 1,021 as the low pressure passed and now we have high pressure so if you have one of these uh, Toyota clinometers they are pretty handy at reading the barometric pressure plus your elevation it's not uh, super accurate but it's better than nothing and if you're out in the mountains or out in the woods and you want to keep an eye on the uh, pressure changes the way I typically would use this out in the mountains for example is when I get to camp, I would set the elevation to what it's supposed to be at the place I'm located at. And then if I notice that the elevation has changed, say the next morning, or if you set it in the afternoon and you check it right before you go to bed and 
and you're all of a sudden a thousand feet higher than you were before, that's telling you that the pressure has dropped and there might be some weather coming in. That is a fairly handy little meter. It's, it's not the most accurate in the world, but it is uh, actually multi-purpose. Yeah, if anyone has any questions about those uh, factory clinometers, go ahead and post up in the comment section below. I thought I'd show you the some of the tricks I've learned with these. And I'll link to my web page where I have a description of the modifications. And as always, thanks for watching.